Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, D Director Cheadle. The American people are watching and they're wondering if there are any questions you can answer honestly today. So, Director Cheadle, I have a series of questions, very specific questions. I want very specific answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay, my first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter, yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question, yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a yes failure. or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure, yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable, yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to Yes or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <laughs> well, that's bull. So, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to ordered. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay. You say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That on is that. a no. You're full of today. You're just being completely dishonest Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I want to. Mr. Chairman, come on. We continue. have to maintain decorum in this committee, any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communications from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information that this committee has asked of the Secret Service? Any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have you that. even read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay. And you have uh, said you don't know, you have no idea. Well, the answer is no. We haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or data from you or your agency in related to the rally that we have asked you for. <clears throat> so um, is this, was uh, this uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> Training, ex execution, or both? Which one? I think those are answers. All right, how many, uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? At this time, none. <clears throat> how many Secret Service personnel have been required to take a refresher course on how not to let people shoot Donald Trump? Our personnel are currently operational. We are examining the facts of this investigation and we will make the changes necessary. What time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to President Trump? I am still verifying timelines. 
course, uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between the time law enforcement saw and took photos of Crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying timelines. 57 time minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.